That's Kelly Thomas, barrel racing in a rodeo. The Florida native was an active teenager riding horses, playing soccer, and working on the family farm. Then, disaster. July 2014. A car accident left Kelly paralyzed, in a wheelchair, with her doctor saying she would never walk again. That is, until Kelly met the team at the Kentucky Spinal Cord Injury Research Center at the University of Louisville. One day we were walking and, you know, they were helping me as usual. And then they stopped helping me and I took maybe three or four steps in sequence. And I just stopped and I, my lips started quivering and my ears, I mean, my, my, my face got hot and my eyes got teary and I was like, Oh my God, that just happened. I just took steps. After months of epidural stimulation on her spine, coupled with strenuous rehab, Kelly has become one of the first paraplegics in the world to take steps under her own power. What this means is that the spinal circuitry has a capacity to relearn how to walk in certain conditions. The spinal cord is very receptive to sensory cues, so if it gets a little bit, then the spinal cord will give a little bit more. Being able to shut one side of my brain off to connect with one leg and have the other side of my brain on to connect with the other leg, it, it, took, it took a long time. It, it took months to be able to figure out how to put everything into one little basket. Kelly wasn't the first UofL patient to make the stunning breakthrough of taking steps on their own. That distinction belongs to Jeff Marquis. He crashed while riding his mountain bike, suffering a spinal cord injury more severe than Kelly's. He, too, is grateful to have found the researchers at UofL. I was the, the first to get bilateral steps, I think is how, they've, how we've uh, termed that. Um, uh, when it first happened, it was kind of a surprise. Um, I was on the treadmill, and just one day I was like, hey, can you? I was just I was getting one leg pretty consistently. And uh, consistently enough that uh, I asked the person that was on my other leg to, to come off and let me give it a try. But the second or third step, I got one, and then they had to come back on, and eventually I, I uh, kind of progressed from there. The breakthroughs are the result of years of research at UofL. Harkema cautions that right now, only a few patients like Jeff and Kelly have gotten to the point of being able to take steps, but it gives hope to paraplegics that they might one day walk again. I think the important aspect of it is that recovery is possible, the ability to stand without physical assistance and walk over ground without physical assistance. Um, it, it, it is a possibility now.